everybody welcome back to my channel for today's video i wanted to share with you guys a rough draft version of my october 18th budget with you guys a kind of run through style because i haven't already pre-done it i know what i'm gonna spend on and what amounts i'll probably be getting towards what categories so i thought about doing the budget with you guys today and i normally if the rough draft version needs to be edited i will edit it on my own time and maybe make a different video for that and if i don't make an updated video it's because what i had for each category was fine so we're going to um in the back of the october goals so i bought these fill paper sheets and i'm so happy i did because i feel like the happy planner is great the mini happy planner um but it doesn't have much space for you to write on and i just did my nails they look black but they're really deep deep purple if you're interested in knowing how i do my nails at home because i started doing them a while ago and then i stopped and got really bad on biting my nails i'm a nail biter so i decided to go ahead and do them again and i think they came out pretty cute and hopefully uh, the longer I do it, the more longer the nails will get and the prettier they will look. So this is October 18th all the way to November 5th. And as usual, I leave the income blank because I don't know how much I'm going to get and my income is variable. Then we have saving, as always, pay yourself first and foremost, um, even if it's, you know, $20, $50, this is very important, $250 is what I'm going to do this uh, paycheck, and I thought about doing more, but to be honest, I don't want to go crazy and then have to dip into the savings account anyways, so $250 is a good amount then i have rent i decided that instead of doing 280 in one paycheck i can just do 140 in one and 140 in another and i think that's going to be a pretty good uh, way of splitting up that rent so it doesn't seem like such a big amount in one paycheck and then we have groceries and that's going to get the typical 160 and then phones this is for my husband and myself it's going to be 102 then we have personal training i do personal training one session once a month and that's $29 and hopefully soon i'll be able to eliminate this i know i renewed it and i have to talk to my personal trainer to see when the contract ends but i really want to be done with this so i can save that money or put it towards debt and this membership um which is separate that's the gym membership from the personal training is 39 dollars. then we have i'm gonna put right here key which is my husband, his name's Keyshawn. Um, he wants this product, so I'm going to purchase it for him, and that's $50. And then we have our sinking funds. So I haven't been able to do our sinking funds in a while, and that's really concerning me because I know that sinking funds are there just in case something happens as kind of a backup emergency and I have not been able to really focus on them as much these past few paychecks. So I really want to get back to doing that. And I also miss stuffing my cash envelopes. So that will be another reason why I want to prioritize this as well. Sometimes it's hard to prioritize everything because money is tight and it all has a place to go to and yeah i was raised by my grandma and my uncle and they told me and they would always practice telling me to never say that you don't have money and have have you or any of you kind of been raised that way so instead of saying that there's never enough money or i'm always broke things like that i try to say you know every 
dollar has a specific place to go to and there really isn't much left over from that. And I decided I really want to do a Black Friday. I have some things I really want to purchase but have not done so and I've been putting them off. So we're going to do $50 for this paycheck and then laundry. I, sorry, I didn't tell you guys, J&K is my first initials and my husband's first, first initials. And this is our like eating out because we do eat out and I'd rather um, be honest and not really lie to myself and also not include it in the budget. And I feel like having a specific amount kind of helps us to see how much we're really spending in this area. And it also um, puts a dollar amount of how much we can spend in that two weeks instead of going crazy. You know what I'm saying? And not including it. And then laundry is going to get $25. Yeah, so taxes got 20 and copays got 30. And then the total for this amount of stuff, including my husband's things, is $770. Hopefully that's right. I'm going to actually calculate it on my calculator right now. And I'm going to turn it on. 250 plus 140. Oops. Let me put the pen down. 250 plus 140 plus 160 plus 50 for my husband's stuff plus 102 plus 29 plus 39 equals 770 so that's correct 770 if you can see that and then the sinking funds is a total i already calculated it of 175 but just to be on the safe side we're gonna calculate it um, again, so I'm going to zero that out and we'll do 30 plus 20 plus 50 plus 50 plus 25, 175. So 175 plus the 770 in fixed expenses is a grand total of nine hundred forty five dollars so hopefully i make that much in my income and it all works out if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and support my channel share with those that you know and until next time y'all bye